<clears throat> okay, so find a place on the floor and lie down. Lie down and just relax for a moment. <sighs> Take a moment to get into your body. To allow all the all the little particles in your in your cells to re-find and rediscover where down is. I like working with this image of uh, like a glass of water. When you swirl swirl it around, all the particles are still moving. And if you give it some time, they all find a way to the bottom to relax. The movement stops. In the body, the movement never stops, but at least the particles can find the way down. So find a way to relax, to completely let go your weight down into the floor. Close your eyes for a moment, smile, breathe deeply, allow the floor to carry your weight. Allow your body to part by part, let go, let go anything that is unnecessary right now. And also you can uh, readjust yourself on the floor, make sure that you're comfortable. Moving the legs a little bit around, moving the pelvis a bit around. Rolling your head from side to side a few times. Very simple, very easy, very relaxed. Let go, allow your arms to be heavy. You can jump the shoulders a bit and find a comfortable position to lay it down. So your body is completely, completely passive, lying on top of the floor, on top of the earth, on top of your mat. And just let go and allow yourself to sink, sink deeper and deeper into the ground, into the floor. Feel how your body is slowly melting down, 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 all the way down towards the center of the earth where gravity is pulling us all the time. Allow every cell of your body to find a way down, to let go of any resistances that are there, to melt away anything you might have done today, melt it into the floor. And smile, smile, smile. And take a deep breath in, completely empty out. And another deep breath. Allowing your chest to move up and down with the breath. A few more. 
Relaxing every time you exhale, even more into the floor, into the ground, into the center of the earth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then start by just leaning your right arm into the floor and letting it go. Very small to begin with, very easy, very simple. Leaning the whole arm into the floor, just the way it is. Leaning it and letting it go. Leaning the arm into the floor, letting it go. Forearm, elbow, palms of the hands are relaxed upwards towards the ceiling. Leaning the right arm into the floor and letting Leaning the arm into the floor, you start to receive a little bit of movement into your shoulder. Try a few times just reaching out in the direction of your fingers, reaching out with your arm and letting it go. Reaching out down like you're trying to grab something, very gentle. Very simple, very easy. Can you make it smaller, easier, simpler? Reaching out and letting it go. Reaching out, letting it go. And then picking up the whole right arm, just as it is, one millimeter off the floor and letting it go. Picking up the right arm, one millimeter off the floor, just that, many times, very simple, very easy. Every time you want to make it easier, simpler. You want to um, pick it up just enough that you can slide a piece of paper underneath your arm. Just enough that you can slide a piece of paper without wrinkling it underneath your arm and then let it go. So very small lift on the arm, the whole arm, very small lift. It barely leaves the floor. And smile. Try a few times to pick up the arm just enough that you feel the weight being lifted from the skin, but the skin is still touching the floor. You still feel like the touch to the floor, but there is no weight on the arm. And then you let it go. And as you keep doing that, see what's happening in your shoulder. See what's happening in the right side of the chest. So you're picking up very, very lightly, very easy, the left, right arm, and you let it go. You pick up the right arm just enough that you feel the weight being lifted from the back of the arm, and then you let it back down. Just that many times, simply one time after another, completely relaxing in between, and feeling what's happening in your shoulder, in the right side of your chest, what's happening in the right side of your back, underneath your right shoulder blade. Just play around with this, with these actions. Picking up a little bit, letting it go. Reaching out a little bit, letting it go. Pushing into the floor a little bit, Picking up, reaching out, pushing in, reaching out, picking up, reaching out. And start to disorganize your right arm a little bit. 
disorganizing it, sometimes just jumping it into the air, just one millimeter, jumping it, letting it go, pushing, letting it go, rolling your right arm a little bit, reaching your right arm, reaching while rolling, smiling, reaching by, while rolling, jumping, jumping, reaching, rolling, disorganizing. Slowly, slowly, the right arm starts to be more and more active. It's constantly disorganizing, constantly relaxing as you reach, relaxing as you jump it, relaxing as you push it. And see what's happening in your right side of the chest. Allow the chest to be open and free. Allow the shoulder blade to slide underneath your rib cage on the right side, the right side. Allow your ribs on the right side to soften. Allow your clavicle bone to participate and be active but soft. Allow the right side of the shoulder, the right side of the neck, the head to be free here. Start disorganizing your right arm a little bit more, rolling it, pushing the floor, reaching with the arm a bit, jumping it a few times, keep disorganizing it, smiling, activating, but in a very soft way. You want to allow the energy to start to accumulate and rise up in the whole right arm and the whole disorganization of the right arm in the whole messing up of the position of the right arm. And above all of this uh, excitement and all this movement, you want to stay calm, smile, open up your right side of the ribs, the right side of the chest, the right shoulder blades sliding underneath the rib cage on the right side. Right side of the neck, the head, allowing the head to roll, allowing this movement to slowly go into your spine a bit, wiggle the spine up towards the neck and the head, wiggle the spine down towards the lower back. And the right arm keeps messing around, keeps disorganizing only by itself. You can take the right arm a little bit closer to your body and see what happens when you do the same actions here, reaching down and away, letting it go, jumping up and letting it go, rolling and letting it go, pushing the floor and letting it go. And slowly take the arm a little bit up, towards 90 degrees from the shoulder, make it straight out the shoulder, messing it, rolling it, jumping it, pushing the floor with it, the wrist is active, the fingers are active here, the back of the palm of the hand and the front of the palm of the hand keep changing, the leaders keep changing, the wrist rolling, forearm rolling, the elbow jumping, jumping in and jumping out, jumping out and leaning in and rolling to the other side. And the upper arm rolls and jumps and pushes the floor. And slowly you're receiving more and more movement here. Through the arm, the arm can now jump a bit closer to your body, jump a bit farther from your body, allow your Ribs on the right side to open up, allow the smile to be there, allow your head to be free. Allow yourself to jump the head a bit higher, jump the hand a bit higher, closer to your head on the floor somewhere. Finding very soft, very easy, very simple way of keeping the movement alive all the time, smiling, activating the belly by opening it up, not by activating the muscles. Allowing the 
rib cage to slide over the shoulder blade, the shoulder blade to slide over and out underneath the rib cage, activating shoulder blade in relation to rib cage on the right side, shoulder jumping up and down a little bit. Start receiving a bit more wiggle here, a little bit more jump, allow the head and neck to be free. Stay calm on top of the movement. Smile. And let it go, let it go completely. Just relax into the floor. Feel the echo the ripples of the movement. And see if you can feel any difference now between the sides. How does the right arm feel in relation to the left? Before we start the left, just pick up the right arm one millimeter off the floor and let it go. One millimeter off the floor, let it go. Push it into the floor very lightly, and let it go. Push it into the floor, and let it go. Reach it a bit away from you, and let it go. Very soft, very easy, the smallest reach you can have. And then let's start doing the left side. Start by just pushing into the floor. Very lightly, very lightly pushing into the floor. And you can probably already feel the difference between the sides. Pushing into the floor, letting go, smiling, pushing into the floor. A very soft push, like you're pushing the floor away from you, down, down towards the earth. And then you try to make that push smaller every time you do it, smaller, softer, easier. The forearm, the elbow, the palm of the hand is open up towards the ceiling, pushing, letting go. See what's happening in your shoulder, your shoulder blade, your left side of the chest. Pushing, letting go, and then let that go, and then reach a few times, just reaching the arm in the direction of the fingertips, and let go, reaching, and let go, reaching, and let go. See, with every reach, that can become easier, simpler, smile, see if there's any easier way that you can do it. Can it be a little bit smaller, a little bit simpler? Reaching in the direction of the fingers, letting go. Reaching, letting go. And then just pick up the left arm and let it go. Pick up the left arm one millimeter off the floor and let it go. Picking up one millimeter, letting it go. Breathing deeply, picking up a millimeter, letting it go, picking up just enough so you can slide a piece of paper so it's very, very light. Pick up almost like the arm is never leaving the floor. Picking up, letting go. Picking up just enough to slide a piece of paper. Picking up, letting go, picking up just enough that you feel the weight leaving the skin, but the skin is still feeling the flow and let go. Picking up just enough that you feel that the weight shifted and letting go. And as you do that, pay attention to what's happening in your left shoulder. Where is the effort going to? Where is the effort coming from? What's happening in the left side of your chest, in the left side of your ribs? 
Yeah. And then you start combining the three. Reaching into the floor, pushing into the floor, reaching the arm up, picking up the arm, picking up the arm, letting go, reaching, pushing the floor, combining the three different possibilities, three different qualities. See how you can maybe reach and pick up and let go and push and roll and let go and roll and reach and let go, reach and roll, pick up and jump a little bit and let it go. And start this organizing, this organizing the left arm, jumping it a bit, surprising yourself a bit, and then allowing the left shoulder to participate, the left shoulder to open up, left side of the chest to open up, Feel what's happening to the left ribs, left side of the rib cage, the rib cage underneath the shoulder blade, shoulder blade sliding underneath the rib cage, picking it up, jumping it up, reaching it out, making it forward, connecting to the fall of the arm. Disorganizing it a little bit more, activating the left arm a little bit more, smiling, allowing the movement to go up the neck into the head, allowing the chest to participate, allowing the front of the neck to relax, and the back of the neck to relax, so the head can participate, smile, take the arm a little bit closer to you, reaching down towards the feet and letting go, jumping up and letting go, rolling, letting go, pushing the floor, letting go, activating the arm all the way closer to your body and then a little bit farther away from your body towards 45 degrees, towards 90 degrees from the shoulder. And now the arm is rolling and jumping and reaching and pushing and jumping pushing and reaching and rolling. So the palm of the hand keeps changing. Sometimes it pushes the floor from the front, sometimes from the back, sometimes from the front of the lower arm, sometimes from the back of the lower arm, sometimes the elbow is down towards the knee, sometimes it's up towards the, the, the ear. And now the arm is messing around, jumping around making a big mess, disorganizing all the time, disorganizing so you don't get one way of rolling, you don't get one way of movement, but you keep perceiving a wave after wave after wave, relaxing in between the waves, finding relaxation in between movement to movement, the movement keeps activating the shoulder, the shoulder blades, rolling up and down, communicating with the rib cage here, the arm going a little bit higher towards the head, next to the head of the floor, just as long as it's really comfortable and relaxed here, activating a bit more the shoulder, a bit more the chest, the chest into the ribs, the ribs down towards the belly, the whole spine, Smiling, allowing your head to be free, your neck, the shoulder, the distance between the shoulder and the ear keeps changing. The left arm is now in a comfortable position again, down next to your body somewhere, about 45 degrees. And smile, and you can activate the right arm and the left arm. Activate the right arm and the left arm, jumping, rolling, jumping, reaching, pushing the floor, letting go, pushing, letting go, jumping, letting go, messing it around a little bit, disorganizing all the time, working with each one of the arms in its own rhythm, each one of the arms, one after the other, sending wave after wave, shoulder into shoulder, you can send movement from one arm into another, one arm into another, one arm into another, and mess it around, mess it around. 
shoulder blade underneath the rib cage, the right side and the left side are communicating with each other, allowing the spine in between the shoulders, the spine that connects all the ribs in the back to wiggle each one of the vertebras is communicating with the other, smiling, sending the movement from one arm to the other, from one side of the chest to the other, allowing the front of the chest to open up, allowing your back of the neck to be completely relaxed and the movement can start to go up into the head. The head can support the movement, the initiators of the movement keep changing inside the arms, the arms are reaching and then they're letting go, they're rolling and they're letting go, they keep changing position, they keep pushing the floor, letting go, leaning into the floor, letting go, one arm after the other, disorganize them, see that they work together but not at the same time and they can support each other but in different ways, allowing their Shoulder blades to communicate with the rib cage. Each shoulder blade communicating with its side of the rib cage, the right side into the left side, and activate the ribs, allowing each one of the ribs to send the movement up towards the chest. And the chest bone is opening up down towards the spine in between the shoulder blades. And the whole spine from the bottom of the neck all the way down to the lower, lower rib and down into the lower back, the lower spine, the lumbar spine. Keep sending the movement from the arms, each arm into the shoulder, each shoulder into the shoulder blade, each shoulder blade into the rib cage on the side, each rib cage in between the ribs, all the way up and all the way down from the bottom of the neck up towards the head, from the head down towards the, through the spine, towards the lower back, from the lower back down into the pelvis, from the pelvis, allow the pelvis to start to participate in the movement more. The arms are still activating the movement here. They're sending from one side into another, they're sending into the chest, they're sending into the rib cage. And on top of everything, stay very, very calm. Stay calm, smile, allow the movement to, to be very wild, but very calm. Wild and calm, disorganized and calm, smile. Allow your pelvis to start to participate a bit more, to support the movement, to send the movement down towards the hip joints, movement is going from one arm into the shoulder and the other arm into the other shoulder from the shoulder into the rib cage and it goes much faster than how i can describe it one after the other one 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 disorganize disorganize stay calm on top of it smile and it goes down through the spine all the way down to the pelvis from the pelvis down through one side of the hip to the knee and from the other side of the hip the other knee, and now the knees are also participating. The knees are here to support, to help, to participate, to be part of the movement. They're very happy and enthusiastic, enthusiastic knees. And then the feet start to participate, and each foot is sending the movement up towards the knee. And from the knee, each knee, is receiving the movement from the feet and it's sending it up towards the side of the pelvis and the hip joints. And if each hip joint is communicating the movement through the pelvis into the lower spine, the belly is open here, and relaxed. The rib cage is open here, and relaxed. And the ribs start to receive this movement all the way up from the feet to the knees, to the side of the hips, through the hip joints, to the pelvis, through the pelvis into the belly and the lower back, from the lower back into the rib cage. The ribs are starting to participate and they communicate the movement 
they talk to each other. Each one of the ribs wants to say to another rib, hey, look, I can move like this, and I can move like that. And they're moving, moving, moving into the shoulders. The shoulder blades are sliding underneath the rib cage. The shoulders are receiving now movements that is coming all the way down from the feet. And the shoulders are also receiving movements that are coming from disorganizing the arms all the time. The elbows are pushing into the floor, jumping off the floor. The shoulders are also sometimes jumping off the floor. And the forearms are rolling, and the palms of the hands and the fingers are jumping into the floor, pushing the floor and reaching out. And now you're activating all the way up the neck, all the way up the neck and the chest up towards the chin. The chin and the chest are communicating with each other and the back of the head is communicating with, with the mat. And you're activating everything, the whole body at the same time. Feet are communicating with the wrists and your elbows are communicating with the hip joints. And the hip joints are communicating with the ribs. The ribs are communicating with the knees and the knees are communicating with the chest, and the chest is communicating with the chin, and the chin is communicating with the back of the head, the back of the head is communicating with the mat, through the lower spine, and the lower spine is communicating with the back of the neck, and the front of the neck is communicating with the rib cage, and the rib cage is opening up, and you're sending movement from one to another, and one to another, and see if you can disorganize your body, Disorganize your body as if there was a big earthquake happening and it's just like wiggling you around, wiggling you, wiggling you, wiggling you, wiggling you. And see if you can hear, stay very calm on top of all of this. The whole movement is happening everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Else. It's like someone is taking your body and it's shaking, shaking, shaking everything out, shaking everything out. And sometimes you have a jump in the knee and then a jump in the other knee. And that's sending some kind of a wave of movement through the body and smile and see sometimes the jump of the elbow, the jump of the other elbow, jump in the elbow and the knee at the same time, the elbow and the other knee at the same time. And the feet are also sometimes jumping and going in and out, in towards the center line of the body and out towards the back side. And also the shoulders are jumping in the right side of the ribs left side of the rib, chest is open, and the head is communicating with the floor, and the chin is going down towards the chest and up towards the nose, cha, 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 cha. and smile and activate it even more. See if you can allow this to become a little bit bigger, a little bit wilder, a little bit less organized. Ah, cha, 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 and a bit more towards the right side and see if now you can have the right side sleep lying completely completely passive while the left side stays very very active the left arm the left leg the left side of the head the left ribs the left shoulder the left elbow the left knee the left foot the left side of the pelvis all the left side is now activating everything but the right side is just lying there Lying there very, very passive, just receiving the movement. Receiving the movement, these waves, allowing the waves to go out. Participating by opening up. Passive right side doesn't mean that it stays still. The movement still goes out. So you're pushing the floor with the left side of your body. You're pushing the floor with the left arm. You're pushing the floor with the left knee, with the left leg. The left side of the pelvis is jumping. The left side of the ribs is jumping left side of the head, and smile, and stay calm on top of that. And then let go of the left side and activate the right side. The right arm is moving, the right leg is moving, the knee keeps jumping in and out and messing around. The knee and the, and the foot are communicating with each other, and the elbow and the palm of the hand are communicating with each other, and they're both Sending a lot of wiggles and a lot of movement here. Cha, 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 cha. And then the right side of the pelvis is jumping and falling down and reaching out and rolling around. 
and the right side is the ribs and the shoulder blade and the right side of the head and the neck. And the whole right side. And then transfer again for the left side. One more time, just the left side activating. Activating everything from the left side. Letting go after you're activating everything from the right side. Right side, letting go. Left side. Letting go. Right side. And then right side and left side, right side and then left side, right side and left side. Smile, keep going. And then activate everything together again. A big, 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 big mess for a moment. Big mess. And let it go. Take a big breath. Relax. Feel the echo. Allow it to be there. Allow the echo, the ripples, and the movement. Allowing all the cells to get over the confusion of the movement and just find down again. This is a moment where the nervous system is integrating what it learned from all this wiggle. It takes a moment for the nervous system to come back down and see what's different now, lying down to the floor. How do you feel with the floor? How do you feel about the floor? Can you feel places that you haven't felt before lying more generously on the floor, smiling, taking a deep breath in, all the way out. And then go ahead and place both your arms, both the palms of your hands underneath your head. So the palms of the hands, they are both on top of each other at the back of your head. And then use that, use those arms to start to just move the head around. So you can move the head around from side to side, completely relaxing the neck, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the base of the head into the neck, the back of the neck, the front of the neck, not activating anything from the neck, just everything from the arms. You can take both arms and grab the back of the head, smile and move the head around from side to side. And now you can take both the uh, tips of the fingers of both sides of the, of the arm, of the fingers, both hands, and put one, the right side, on the right side of the back of the head, the base of the skull, and the left side of the base of the skull, and the left side. And from here, you can do these little jumps, like you're jumping, jumping the, the arm and letting the head jump a little bit. Jump to the left and jump to the right. Jump to the left and jump to the right. Just to create this kind of uh, confusion in the neck for a moment. Jumping, allowing the neck to open up here to the back, open up down. Jumping it up, softening it into, into your arms. Cha, 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 cha. And then let it go. Activate everything in a very soft, soft way. So you're activating your arms, you're activating your elbows, your shoulders, your chest, your rib cage in a flow that is very soft, very soft, very easy. Very relaxed, all the way down to the heels the knees, 
all the way up to the head, the back of the head and the neck, and the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the smile. <clears throat> and then slowly put a little bit more weight into your elbows and get up to a place where you're leaning on your elbows, leaning on your elbows, still kind of lying, half lying down, half leaning on the elbows. Leaning on the elbows, here, smile, and then keep moving, keep moving from one elbow into the shoulder, into the shoulder blade, from the left elbow into the left shoulder, the left shoulder blade communicating with the left side of the ribs, and the ribs open up into the belly, the belly opens up into the, into the pelvis, the pelvis sends it down to the knees, the knees down to the feet, the feet send it back up through the knees all the way up towards the head, allowing your head and neck to be free here. And straighten one arm, the right arm behind you, and keep moving here, moving it around, sending some movement from the arm into the shoulder, from the shoulder into the ribs. Straight the other arm and take the right elbow into the floor for a moment there. Smile. And then straight both arms. Both arms very far behind you. Your feet, your legs are completely straight underneath. And you're smiling and you're allowing your chest to collapse down. And you're allowing your chest to open up. Allowing your elbows to bend. And now we're sending movement from the palm of the hand into the elbow, on the right side into the shoulder, on the left side into the shoulder blade, from the shoulder blade down into the ribs. From the ribs, opening up the chest, allowing the neck to be free, the head to be free, smiling, cha cha cha. Slowly taking the arms a little bit closer to you, so you're sitting really close on top of your sit bones, but your arms are still somewhere behind you, rolling, allowing your chest to roll down here, open up, smile, smile, Mr. Allow yourself to take the weight a little bit more to the front. The arms are now closer to your pelvis from the side. And you keep activating, activate now also the pelvis here, activating the knees, activating the feet and the heels into the floor. You can bend your knees a little bit. Bend your knees a little bit and take your arms more to the back and see if you can find this kind of flow of movement where you're sending waves and waves of movement. You can send a wave of movement from the right arm. Try sending just from the right arm a few times. Rolling, 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 opening up your chest, opening up your belly, opening up your pelvis so the pelvis can roll, allowing your neck to be free. Remember to stay calm on top of the movement, allowing your head to be free. And if the movement is passing all the way from the palm of the hand to the elbow, to the shoulder, to the shoulder blade, into the ribs, into the chest, from the chest, into the belly, the whole spine is wavy here. Big, big waves coming in from the right arm into the pelvis, from the pelvis down towards the left knee, from the left knee to the left heel and the left heel starts to send movement back and you start to have these diagonals between the right arm and the left knee, uh, the left heel. The right arm and the left heel sending into each other. One after another, one after another. Very calm, very relaxed, very easy. Find a very simple way to do it. No effort. No effort. And then let that go and start to sending waves from the left arm. The left arm is sending waves up through the elbow, into the shoulder, through the shoulder, into the left side of the chest, wave after wave, smile. 
open up the chest, open up the belly, allow your ribs to collapse backwards and fall forward and participate by opening up the belly and allow your pelvis here to roll. And then from the arm into the shoulder, from the shoulder into the chest, from the chest into the ribs, down into the belly, down into the pelvis, down into the right knee and all the way down to the right heel. And from the right heel, you start to send back movement. So you have these diagonals going from right heel to the left arm, from the left arm to the right heel, one after another, allowing your head to be free, allowing your chin to be free, so your neck can relax, allowing your eyes to not focus on one thing. And then just for a moment here, send movement from the right to the left, from the left down to the elbow, from the elbow up towards the chin, from the chin down in the chest, and the chest to the belly, from the belly to the knees and one knee and then the other knee and then one heel and then the other heel. Just mess around here, it's a bit very soft, very easy. Let's see if you can mess it around, disorganize it, disorganize it, allow the knees to fall down. And just sit, just sit for a moment and allow a lot of this disorganization to happen. Disorganize your knees, disorganize your heels, Disorganize your chest, disorganize your belly, disorganize your head and neck, both arms. Every part of your body, every inch of your body wants to disorganize, like they all want to leave, they all want to let go, they all want to participate, they all want to celebrate, and they're all celebrating together. And smile, cha 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 cha. And then put your weight on your hands and knees and continue here to disorganize. Disorganize down towards the elbows, allowing your chest to open up. Smile and stay calm. Allow your knees to disorganize. Allow the side of the ribs to open up. And you can go really really low here <clears throat> really low like you're going into a child's pose but you keep disorganizing <laughs> disorganizing disorganizing a bit to the right disorganizing a bit to the left opening up your head opening up your chest opening up your belly smiling cha cha keep jumping the shoulders shoulders are communicating with the chest. The chest is opening up into the rib cage. The rib cage is, is disorganizing here. And then you can just disorganize for a moment, sitting on your knees. Cha, 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 cha. Disorganize a bit more on the right side so you can fall down, all the way down, and let, allow the left arm to open up into the into the space around you, very gentle, very easy, don't force anything, no effort, and then down to the other side, opening up, a lot of possibilities, you want to open up the possibilities, like there is no effort, no effort in the movement at all, you want to find the simplest, easiest way to find a lot, a lot, a lot of movement, and then put your Weight back on your legs and find slowly a very disorganized, very jumpy, very falling down, collapsing, collapsing up towards, towards standing, collapsing, finding another way of falling, 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 and disorganize a little bit more. On this side, and this organize more on the other side. And see here, if you can find a lot, a lot of ways to fall inside the body. Fall, 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 fall from the ear into the shoulder, 
from the shoulder down the ribs, and each rib is falling on top of the other rib, falling, 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 falling down towards the pelvis, falling down from the pelvis to the knee, from the knee down to the heel, falling the whole right side, falling, 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 falling down and then receiving back up, falling down, receiving back up, falling down, receiving back up, smile, chance. Find the left side, the left side of the head, the left shoulder, left elbow, left arm, left ribs falling one on top of each other. Each rib can fall all the way down to the belly, opening up the lower back, opening up the right side of the hip, all the way down to the knee, and down into the Heel and from the heel, it's receiving all the falls and it's going back up, falling, falling down and right, falling down and left, from down and right, falling, receiving a wave of movements, falling, receiving. It goes cha 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 cha, and allowing the arms to be free here, cha cha and smile, cha 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 and finding more and more ways to release the movement. So now you want to start releasing the movement from, through the arms. Releasing the movement from one arm, releasing from the other, jumping, letting it go, and just falling down here, falling down the other side, and taking the legs, of, in disorganizing the legs, disorganizing the arms, sending the movements out, sending the movement also out from the head from the head, from the neck, very soft, very clear, very calm, but with a lot of movement, with a big smile, a lot of movement, very calm, cha cha, cha cha, cha cha, as if you can continue doing this now for seven hours, cha cha, very simple, very easy, cha cha, sending the movement out from the legs, from the legs backward behind you, from the legs out to the side, now to the other side, finding a vibration, a very high vibration. Let's then come on top of it, smiling. Out the neck, out the back, out the whole back, back from the side, side of the pelvis. Very calm, very easy. Cha 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 and intensifying it a little bit more. Like it becomes a a big um, like somebody is really wriggling. Every one of your cells is now communicating with the other, and saying, "Hey, I want to jump here. I want to jump there." They're jumping. They're sending messages to each other all the time, sending smiles to each other all the time. Cha 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 cha. Allow the head to be completely free. And that's fighting more to And sending out and move around a little bit in your space. Move around, walk around with it. Cha cha and smile. Cha. Cha, cha, and smile and open up, chu, chu, and open down, chu, 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 and smile even more, cha, and intensify even more, and take the right arm and clean the right side of the head, cha, completely out, and take the right arm and clean it, cha, completely out, and keep everything active and clean one more time from the right side of the head, cha, and relax. And the left side, with a smile, let it go, let it completely fall, fall out and forth. And one more time here, really, really release it, and smile. And take the right arm and clean the left, and throw it away. Clean the left completely, and throw it away. Clean completely, and throw it away. The left arm is taking the right hand, and the legs are still active. And and one more time. Take both arms and clean the whole front of 
in the chest, in the belly, in the side, 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 in the back, 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 in the front again, cha, 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 in the belly again, cha, 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 and the sides again, cha, 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 in the back and smile, cha, 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 two arms, take the whole leg and clean it out, cha, and send it, take the whole leg, clean it out, cha, send it and let it drop. One more time, the whole leg, clean, cha, and let it drop. The other leg, take the whole leg, clean it out, cha, take the whole leg, clean it out, smile, cha, take the whole leg, clean it out, smile, and make a big cha, cha. Let it go. Just relax for a moment there. Close your eyes. Allow yourself to feel the vibration, to feel the ripples, everything that's left now after all this movement. Sinking down through the feet, allowing your skeleton to be completely free and all the muscles to just hang on top of it. Down, down, down towards the earth, everything is hanging down. Everything is heavy down, and the skeleton standing effortlessly with a smile, breathing, relaxing, What is different now than before? What is still active inside of you? What is still vibrating inside of you? Smile again. <clears throat> Take a little walk. Just a very little simple, simple walk without testing anything, without thinking about it too much, just walking and seeing what is different now, how does it feel, walking a little bit front, walking backwards a little bit, just to feel that maybe something wants to still vibrate out, you can let it out. Wash, 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 activate a flow, and just for a moment here, just activate, activate the flow, just to feel it. Very simple, very easy, very soft. Activating, just having a little moment of dance here. Yeah. Sending out the movement. Finding very soft, soft, soft movement. Smiling, yeah. Seeing what's different in how you move, what feels easy, what feels light. Go with how it feels. Go with what feels good, what feels light, what feels simple, easy, relaxed, open. Yeah. Yeah. Shoo, shoo. Cha, cha. Okay, good, thank you, let it go.